Hello and welcome to Wine Baron. This is episode 10. In this episode we're mainly going to be looking at our production chains and um, just making sure that they're okay. Clearing out any product that is that has been made and topping them all up. So there we are at the pellet factory. They're all looking like they've got stock. Which will pop some extra grapes into the winery. Just top that up so they can keep going for the next month or so. Don't know how much we've got in stock in the in the silo. We'll have to check that out sometime. But let's get I'm sure we've got another full load in, in there at least. I think we've probably got another two full loads in there. Right, let's get this open and we'll get a load into the into the winery. Wrong side. Open up the other side, it'll be easier to load. There we go. Sumptuous grapes. <laughs> there we go. Let's get those in. There should be quite a bit of stock there to be collected as well. Still producing, so the old grapes in there. Oopsie. Not quite in the right position to offload. Getting there, we're getting there slowly. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so um, we'll clear the grapes, make some, make some money there. Funds are a bit down after the building of the first uh, log cabin. We've got the bank manager with it coming around today, but holding my breath that we're about to do anything straight away. It might be a little while before we can do something there, but we'll see what he says. You never know. Let's drop that off there and uh, fill up the water. Just so that we're sure that this keeps going when. It doesn't use an awful lot of water because I think this is the first time that I'm filling up since. Uh, since we initially we initiated a couple of months ago, so it seems to me if we fill it up, it goes a few months before we need to do it again, which is nice. Let's get our old trusty watering system done. Shouldn't take too long. Yes, I'm thinking that we might have to buy another lot of grapes in. So we're starting to get to the situation now where cash flow is starting to be hampered. We might have overextended ourselves in the growth stakes. It may have been worthwhile to hang on a bit for the before doing the log cabins, but that'll bring in some money every month, even, even even just the one, even if we've just got the one going for a while. And we should get uh, all starting to produce fairly actively from the from the sheep and ultimately from the spare grass that we have in the in the vineyard. This will be interesting to see whether we need to plant another vineyard or not. 
keep that option open by keeping that field the other grass field well it's a grass field at the moment to open until we have made the first grape harvest and just see how much we get from there right this is load up all the product so we can have that ready and we'll get the Lamborghini hooked up to that once we've loaded we'll get that sold should have a reasonable amount of, uh, of wine and grape juice Much easier to load with one of the smaller vehicles. Actually, this little tractor is quite good for the between that and the beast, depending on which is at a hand. I think they will be doing a lot of these little finicky jobs, if you want to call it that. That's a reasonable amount. Strap them in. Yep. It'll bring in. 10, 15,000 euros keep us going as I was saying I did jump the gun a little bit on the on the lock cabin side I thought we had a bigger credit line with the bank but when I phoned up the bank manager and um, he did say he'd have to come out have a look because um, basically we have no credit line <laughs> um, so he's going to come out and have a look and they will make up their minds whether they're going to help us out or not so we're not holding our breath there let's just get this all parked up and then we'll head on down to the um, pallet factory and go and see what's happening there reversing skills seems to be a little bit more difficult with this little tractor for some reason probably weight to size ratio <laughs> in any case we've got it parked off no problem right let's go and see what we can do down here at the uh, pellet factory there's probably quite a bit of stock to be moved over get that sorted out we will wait until we've got we have been um, distributing so it should still also be building up stock at the same time because I'm pretty sure that the pellet factory is not at least the winery is not taking a huge amount of pellets so we should have some pellets to sell fairly soon well, when I say sell, not in individual numbers, we should have a spare thousand. That should bring another reasonable amount. I'm not quite sure how much. We'll have to check that out in the future. We'll have a quick look once we've see what's in there. Somewhere along the line while we're busy doing this. replenishment job yeah, it's not making a fortune this pallet factory <laughs> at the moment but this is a pretty long term venture this one it's, um, it's going to take a bit of time to get things sorted out or really producing just have to 
because the forest is going to take a while to grow. Oops, we wanted to get two together, so let's drop that. Need to reposition ourselves slightly. There we go. That should be cut. That should be good. Oops, not close enough. And off we go. This is just at the back of us here, so it's not too far to deliver these. Well, none of them are too far to deliver, but some are a little bit closer than others. <laughs> As is the case with everything, basically. Yes, so our stock is building up quite nicely in there. This one should grab quite easily. A little bit worried about doing it this way, that makes it a bit front heavy, but it's not far to go, so I say this way. So they're trying to grab two long, um, pellets of long planks. No, it's not too bad. I thought it might tip forward a little bit with the the extra weight on the front but not too bad. The big old weight at the back is doing its job. Right, let's get the normal planks in. Keep, oh, it keeps going to the uh, woodchip pile. But there's actually not a huge amount there. Not with uh, working working out at the moment. Yeah. Right, let's clear a couple of those, go and get those delivered. Yes, I think we're going to have to start going into a little bit of consolidation phase, getting through, getting through the months, maybe a little bit quicker than normal. Still, one or two small things that I need to do before we do that. Need to see how the uh, sheep produce. Need to look at some sort of cheaper production factory there. I have been speaking to some of the locals. There seems to be a fairly good um, tradition around here of weaving and fabric making and clothing making. Sort of cottage style type, uh, type industries. So we have been having some discussions with the locals. We, we perhaps finance it. Doesn't, we're not really in the position to, but it would be fairly cheap compared to a full-size fabric and clothing factory. So we can get started with that. Helps out the local population as well. It's a couple, a little way down the line. It's probably a couple of episodes down the line. We'll have the uh, outcome of that and see how that goes. Yes, I'm just going to put these two in. 
got quite a good stock of there because the and I'm going to try and balance them out so that so the third the third uh, pellet over there I'll just push that out eventually and then next time when it loads we should have another double there and then hopefully we should have another double next to the other pellet that is on the other side we'll, we'll see where it is in, the, uh, in a little while when we go back I'll show you what I mean Don't have to rush through getting stock and then there's plenty of stock to keep things going for the next month. So that and of course we put lots of trees in there when we did the clearing for the uh, for the cabin area. Yeah, so this one there will pull out, push out or so. And that one's the top there, hopefully another one will spawn next to it when we do the well by next month and then we should have we should be able to do four loads of two instead of, instead of what we've just done now two loads of two we'll see see if it works out as we've found out in all the series that we've done best laid plans don't always work <laughs> Right, so let's get this wood, wooden beams in, and we're pretty much done for here. We'll have to go and check up on the sheep, I suppose. Of course, we need to go down and sell the... sell the, um, the wine and the the grape juice as well. We'll be, we'll be sitting on 30,000. It's always bear in mind we've got 900,000 worth of loans, euros worth of loans to service. It's going to be a while before we start repaying, the, repaying those. set that just pop inside and go and see how things are doing how the people are doing not sure who's on a reception today it's probably Mavis just drop these off quickly don't need it for now Swing around, we can drop off the back weight. So we've got to load the, we'll hook up the trailer with the wine and the grapes on it, grape juice, so say. Are we looking, yeah, fuel's looking okay in this track there. Doesn't quite need a service yet. Right, just jump in and go and see how things are actually doing. Get around to the back here and we're our operator Jack checking things out there. Yeah, so we've got plenty of stock in there. Yeah, so pellets are, yeah, we've got 880 litres in there. It is just tributing, but there's still a bit of a stock there so once that hits a thousand we'll uh, change that to selling we'll get them sold for a little while and then uh, we'll be able to get it back to distributing so when the stocks are in low at the winery how's it going Jack all right 
It's looking good, operating okay. Any breakdowns? If they are, just let me know. Get that sorted. Good stuff. Uh, Ma'am, are, are you waiting for a collection? Yeah, one of the lads will be around soon and be able to help you out. Morning Mavis, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm going to be at the sheep. Any problems? Give me a shot. Get me on the blower. Right, if we go... I did say to her we'll be at the sheep, but we'll actually be doing a delivery. <laughs> Get this hooked up and let's get going. We will drive past the sheep on the way down and uh, just get that, uh, just have a quick, quick look. I'm not sure that there'll be a lot of wool produced yet. Be a couple of months before we're in full production on wool. We need to go through one. One um, reproduction cycle first as well. And for them to grow up. It's been irritating for a while. but we need to do this. Just to uh, get rid of this little grassy area in the entrance here. Just put some gravel down. It's going to take long to get it sorted out. It's funny how sometimes when you have these little things you keep thinking, oh, I must do that, but it's always something more, more important to be done. So we just get it done now. It's a while since this facility has been built. Here. Should have been done when we were built it. Yeah, it looks good enough. It's better than the tufts of grass. Yeah, just about done. Fantastic. I like that actually. Kind of blends in with the road and the paved area. Yeah. Works well. Fantastic. Right, let's get on now. Make some money. Almost looks like the grass is ready to be cut again. <laughs> it's probably not far off. I see some grass has come up in the area that we cleared there. Not too worried about that at this point in time. It's quite interesting that uh, once you clear these forested areas that the gra sort of grass will grow. I'm not sure whether it can be cut or not. We'll try it. We'll test it out. We'll see. <laughs> Might be able to get a bit of uh, extra feed. Ah, oh, 400. So 43 is probably 1200 litres. Of, uh, of wool. Uh, they're all looking pretty good. Plenty of feed in there for them, plenty of water. Yep, looking good. 
stores are not full but stopped. Oh, it's a bit too heavy to move. There's plenty of plenty of food to just keep topping up with there as well. Right, it's we seem to be struggling to get down to the town to make the delivery of these wine wines and uh, fruit juices or grape juice. Let's just get on down there now. Go and get it done. <laughs> Here we are just about down at the farm shop. So there's quite a few little spaces here that we can do things with in terms of other production units, smaller production units. And that's kind of what we were talking to the what I've been talking to the the local um, the local people um sort of stay in the area. They would like to I did say I bought something up at the farm but they seem to indicate that they prefer it done in the sort of settlement area down here. It's just easier for them to get to, they said. I suppose they don't have to walk up the hill to get to our place. Because, I mean, most people around here just don't have uh, a lot. They don't have uh, a lot of um, vehicles. So they do tend to travel around on bicycles and mopeds and walk. So I can understand that they would prefer things to be centralised down there. Right. So property income, so that, that would be the income that we've got from the from the lock cabin, 2,300 euros, not bad. Sold products there, 19,000. That includes some pellets. Uh, no, it doesn't include any pellets because we're not selling pellets. So that's uh, the wine and the grape juice, 19,000 euros. Not to be scoffed at. At least we have a little bit of cash flow going at the moment. Can't buy anything really. Right, let's get on back up to the up to the farmyard. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Just have a quick check out on the vines. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!